going on people it's the xbox 448 and today guys it is saturday i am getting ready for next podcast and i had to make this video um it's probably coming out on sunday or maybe after the show tonight but i i had to get my thoughts out about this and what i'm thinking about is in terms of xbox microsoft and their quote-unquote future of gaming. I know it has been a big thing. We talked about it on Crossfire. We will be talking about it on next podcast, which is also one of the good one of the good reasons why we have like all these podcasts within the community. We have different people expressing different opinions. So you get kind of like that wide spectrum of opinions throughout the the multiple shows that you watch throughout the week, which is a good thing. But um. You know, something came up on Crossfire yesterday, and this is what I want to touch on first. In, in terms of the Shadow of Tomb Raider, um, you know, there's some people out there that, you know, when you saw kind of like that teaser saying that, you know, it'll be out in September for all those systems that was written underneath at the end, you know, PS4, Xbox One, all, all that good stuff. People um, who prefer xbox got a little upset that there was no more xbox exclusivity when it comes to you know getting that game first now first and foremost i am not a fan of timed exclusives i don't if if it's going to come out onto a plat uh multiple platforms it might as well do so in the beginning you might have some dlc or something like that that you can kind of put aside for that marketing deal or whatnot uh Another thing I haven't seen too much of is actual, like, platform-specific DLC. Like, you know, say in Shadow of the Tomb Raider, if there was some type of exclusive deal, uh, why not have Lara Croft, like, one of her outfits be an Xbox Xbox outfit or, you know, um, a PlayStation outfit? You know, in in accordance to the deal. I I don't see any, like, too many kind of, like, DLC-specific marketing deals where it's, like, an xbox themed skin or a playstation themed skin that would be cool to see in terms of marketing deals or whatnot it really shows it really gives back to the 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 fans of that platform but i am wandering off on the topic now people are upset that you know shadow of, of, of tomb raider doesn't look like it has a timed exclusive deal and it actually makes sense to me Um, When it comes down to it, if you look at the theme this year for Xbox, a lot of it is active user base motivated. Now, you might ask me what that means. Uh, A lot of the exclusives coming out, you look at Sea of Thieves, uh, multiplayer all the way through. You look at State of Decay. What is the main hook in State of Decay 2? Multiplayer. You know, people who like State of Decay 1, people who are zombie fans are going to, you know... Are going to get attracted by that game period but the big hook in that is being able to survive in a zombie game multiplayer wise and then you look at crackdown the big hook to crackdown is a 5v5 multiplayer with complete destructible environments using the cloud and then if even if you look down the road to forza horizon 4 that is another heavy multiplayer game now This was a great year for them to kind of spice up Game Pass with these exclusives, right? Because all these games are high on the active player base. So when it comes down to it, if you're looking to get numbers and say how Game Pass was a success, you want to release Game Pass at a point in time where you're releasing multiple big multiplayer games. So with that being said, there's a theme going on here in 2018 when it comes to xbox and i'm calling it the huge multiplayer theme so that's why you're not going to see kind of like the the marketing or or marketing timed exclusive rights to single player experiences yes i do know tomb raider um i'm not sure about the the rise of tomb raider but tomb raider has had multiplayer in the past but that was never that game's focus okay so when it comes down to it the uh, xbox is gonna promote games that show a high active user base have a big multiplayer um aspect or hook to it and and at the end of the day it's to show bigger numbers when it comes to you know who's online and playing the game bigger numbers for game pass so 
as we go through this year and as we get, you know, to E3, past E3, into the holidays, I want you guys to keep that in mind. I want you guys to think about, you know, Microsoft, they are, they are hands down, like, going all for it in terms of the Game Pass market. Uh, we all know this. We saw, you know, the comments that came out about the cloud gaming division and, and all that good stuff. They really want to develop a Netflix-type uh, game streaming service um, across multiple devices. That's where they're going, right? So at the end of the day, that's what they're going to focus on this year, especially with spicing up Game Pass with their exclusives going in day and date. So that's what you're going to see this year from Xbox. That's what you're going to see in terms of gaming. You're going to see a huge focus on games that focus a lot on multiplayer. So I hope you're not too upset, you know, at the almost guaranteed fact that, you know, Xbox doesn't have any time exclusive deal. You know, with the rise of to uh, the shadow of Tomb Raider, <laughs> I, I still got to get into calling the new title its its proper name or whatnot. Uh, I'm excited for Tomb Raider. I thought the first two were really good. I actually like the first reboot better than Rise of Tomb Raider, just for the fact that there was more like supernatural stuff to it. I'm a big like sci-fi geek. I love supernatural ghosts and everything like that. So um, I, I did like that in the first uh, reboot. Of Tomb Raider, but I'm I'm interested to see where this third part of the the Origins trilogy to Lara Croft, uh, where it's gonna go, what's gonna happen. Um, in terms of Xbox as a platform, what you're gonna see, uh, you know, Major Nelson, Phil Spencer, Mikey Barra, Aaron Greenberg, all those guys over at Xbox. What you're gonna see them really focus on is things that. Uh, shine a, spy, a spotlight on the Xbox Live online multiplayer active user base. That is what you're going to see from them this year. But as usual, guys, if you like the gameplay, you like the topics, uh, it's pretty much my video for now. Um, I, I have a lot, a lot of other ideas swimming in my head, and I will get them out onto video. And I just got done doing the gameplay for next podcast. That is ready to go, and I, I just figured I had to make this video I had to get it out man it was really kind of in my in my mind all day and I had to get it out and I had to get it out to you guys the gaming community my subscribers anybody new to the channel anybody that would listen but yeah so that's pretty much it for now hit up the comment section let me know if you think I'm actually making sense here I've been kind of on a roll lately when it comes to making sense uh, uh, in terms of gaming news and and opinions and stuff like that, so I want I want to hear from you guys if I am uh, still kind of like in that zone when it comes to this stuff, or if I'm not, I want to know that as well. So hit up the comment section if you haven't subscribed yet, definitely subscribe. But as for now, this is the X Spot four four eight, and I am definitely signing off. <laughs> Trying to get demons up out of me demons. Turn to a beast, eat your arteries beast. Deceasing opponents so properly Opponent. Unleashing the dark side, what got to me? Dark. We come to take this shit over